a safe choice, not necessarily a surprising one. On Sunday morning, the president, Sergio Mattarella, nominated Italy's foreign minister, Paolo Gentiloni, to form a new government, bringing to an end days of speculation as to who would emerge as the frontrunner for the role of prime minister. Not by choice, but out of a sense of responsibility, we move within the same framework as the outgoing government and the outgoing majority. I'm conscious of the urgent need to give Italy a government with full powers, to reassure our fellow citizens, to confront our international economic and social priorities with the maximum commitment and determination. As foreign minister, he played a key role in the Libya talks together with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. And at 62, Mr. Gentiloni is more than 20 years older than his predecessor, Matteo Renzi, who stood down after losing a referendum on constitutional changes last week. But he is a solid ally of Renzi, having supported him in his bid to become prime minister and a major figure in the Democratic Party, which is the largest in both the upper and lower houses of parliament. Gentiloni, if accepted by the a majority of parliamentary MPs, could be a sort of a transition solution in order not to destabilize the whole country. He's been mediating also in the Mediterranean, the Libyan crisis. He's, he's got many, many files in his hands and he's very well known abroad. Mr Gentiloni's reputation as a tough negotiator certainly has played in his favor in Mr Mattarella's decision but it's his reputation within Italy as part of the establishment which could cause him a few headaches. And riding high on the wave of anti-establishment sentiment, Beppe Grillo, the leader of the Five Star Movement. His party has criticized the decision to guarantee the status quo rather than call for snap elections, which currently would put his party in a leading position. I'm in favour of there being an election now, at least it gets rid of any doubt surrounding the political and economic issues. I support the Five Star Movement. I was against the referendum, but it's no surprise that it's proceeding this way, because they're not going to allow elections now. But change is the last thing that President Mattarella wants right now. Politicians want to reform Italy's electoral law before elections can be held. And a banking crisis is threatening the country's economy. These are tough times for banks, oversaddled with debt, and it needs to be resolved quickly. And for now, the president is staking his claim on continuity, rather than the unknown. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Rome.